I have a problem. My bedroom gets freezing cold in the winter, and that's not good, because when I wake up in the morning and it's freezing cold, I don't want to get out of bed, and that makes me late for work, and it's bad news all around. I do have an electric heater, but if I leave that on all night so that my room's nice and toasty in the morning, that uses a lot of electricity, and electricity costs money. So this week, I decided to take the remote control for this heater, copy the infrared code, play it back with an Arduino, and control all of that with my computer. That way I can have the heater turn on automatically right before I wake up, my room's nice and toasty when I wake up, and I don't have to spend all that money on electricity. So let's get started. The project starts with the infrared remote. When you press the button, the remote sends an infrared signal, invisible to the naked eye. Normally when you press the button, you can't see anything, but if you look at it through a digital camera, you can actually see it. I want to duplicate the infrared signal with an Arduino. To do this, I'll need an IR receiver module. This will let me decode the signal. I'll need an infrared emitter or LED. And I'll need an Arduino. First we need to set up the Arduino so we can record the signal from the remote. We're going to bend out the signal wire, then we'll plug in the power lead and the ground lead. The power goes to VCC and the ground goes to ground. Then we'll use a little jumper and an alligator clip to hook up the signal wire to pin 2 on the Arduino. Now we'll load up the IR decoder sketch and upload it to the Arduino. Piece of cake. Now let's load up the serial monitor and the Arduino tells us it's ready to decode. So point the remote, press the power button and we get a signal. Let's take a better look. We don't need any of this information at the top. We need to use this data array at the bottom. This tells us how often the light needs to be turned on and off. So we need to copy this array into the play signal sketch. We'll just replace the one that's in there. Then you need to count the number of on and off timings and set the num IR signals constant to equal that value. So in my case there's 96 timings, so that value is set to 96. We don't need the receiver anymore, so unplug that and plug in the LED instead. Plug the positive lead into pin 13 and the negative lead into the ground. Now we'll upload the play signal sketch. Then open up your serial monitor. If you type the command POWER in all caps, it should flash the IR code out the LED. Now that that's working, we need to figure out how to get the computer to turn on the heater automatically every morning. To do this, I'm going to use a PowerShell script and Task Manager. First, you need to figure out what serial port you're using. If you look at the Arduino configuration, you can see I'm using COM4. So we need to make sure that the script is set up to use COM4 as well. Then we'll run PowerShell as an administrator. By default, Windows won't let you run your own PowerShell scripts for security reasons. Typing this command will show you that the policy is set to restricted. We need to change that policy to allow us to run our own scripts. Hit yes. And now when we check the policy again, we'll see it's no longer restricted. Next we need to open up the control panel, administrative tools, and task scheduler. We're going to create the task that will run this thing every morning. We'll call it something descriptive. Make sure it's set for daily. Adjust the time. In my case, I wake up at 7.30, so I'll set it for 6.30. Make sure it's set to run every day. And then we're going to want to start a program. In this case, the program is simply PowerShell. In the arguments box, we're going to type in the path to the script. 
In my case, this is C colon backslash temp slash heater script. Once we click finish, we're all ready to go. We just need to place the Arduino somewhere that the heater can see the LED. Now while I'm pleasantly snoozing in bed, the heater automatically turns on and warms up the room, and I can wake up comfortably. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like or subscribe.